welcome back to another one. Woo! Sitting right at 4 a.m. Got up at 3.30. Uh, another public hunt coming at y'all. Y'all have been really, really liking the public land hunting. And it seems like it doesn't matter if we only kill two birds or if we shoot a limit. Today's hunt, I'm very excited for, to say the least. All of my long-term subscribers, y'all have been on these particular hunts before. <laughs> this is public land, big, big public land, back at Cheyenne Bottoms with the boys. And when I'm talking about the boys, I'm talking about Larry and Mike. Oh, yeah. The two old guys. Yeah. Uh, going with my two buds. Uh, they invited me. And uh, I think we're going to be going to the place that I went for opening weekend. Uh, I got that pin saved on my phone. That was a good spot. There's some planted Milo right in that hole that I hunted. So I'm gonna try to get us back to that hole. Hopefully I'm a good navigator. But I wanna let you guys know today's video is sponsored, like you guys know, by duckswaterfowl.com. Guys, if you guys wanna help support the channel, go check out all the new merchandise we have over there. All the new camo hats, all the new camo hoodies. We got about anything you want and everything you might need. As well as the duck and goose calls. They're all back in stock. Go pick them up before they gone again. And I always forget to tell you guys, use code BOB, lowercase BOB, to save you some jack at checkout. But no more blabbing. Uh, yeah. Come here, where you going? Come here, Freddy Rico. Where you going, man? Are you ready to go, huh? Training did him so good. Today's gonna be his first boat hunt of the year. And Larry, he's gonna have his dog, Jack, there. Fred and Jack, they get along really good. Jack, I believe is like, I believe he's 10 years old. He's an old guy. So, I'm telling you, training did him well. He's so obedient now, it's crazy. You ready, buddy? Let's hit the road. Oh, are you ready, dude? Oh, are you ready for that big water hunt on the boat? Old Fred's happy. We're here, we got Larry's boat. Oh, he got a new paint job on her for this year. <laughs> oh, Larry, look at the rig, man. The rig, there, what's up, Mike? Hey. What are you doing, man? I'm ready to go shoot a few, too. You ready for your first duck hunt of the year? Oh, man, I couldn't sleep last night. I know. Neither could I, and it's my tenth of the year, for goodness <laughs> sakes. What's yeah. up, Larry? Hello. Oh, you even, yeah, yeah, you even brought the deet. Yeah, you better have it out here. Yeah, last time, uh, what, five days ago, they, it wasn't too bad. Was it bad yesterday? Oh, it was swarming. You shot how many yesterday? Two? I got three yesterday. Three yesterday? These guys are coming back in already. Well, huh? I said, forget it. Yeah. Bob and Larry's here. They, yeah, they Everything. saw you guys show up, say, ah, oh, game over. <laughs> 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 the game over because they're going to be sky busting all day, messing everybody up. Got that right. <laughs> oh, old Jack. Look at him. He's ready. He's like, can I please get in the boat? Yeah. Look at these two dogs. Two boys. Oh, here we go. Time to sit sail. Goodness. Just a chug a lugging in the old boat. How old Jack? He'll be 11. He'll be 11, I was right. I thought he was 10 years old. Well, here we are, sit and sell. I think I still have a hole in my waders. Gotta love these duck hunts on public land out of the boat. I'm missing me a boat. I guarantee you, I'm getting another one here soon. Frederick, you ready, dude? Yeah. just something about the bottoms man there is. I was telling everybody in the first video here you got to inform them a little bit Mike here at the bottoms how much money did they spend on the effort to make the bottoms great again um, millions at, at this point I can tell you that that uh, Ducks Unlimited put together a campaign called um, bring back the bottoms yeah and initially the goal was 300,000 because to get some of this grant money that they're putting into the bottoms, yeah. you need seed money. And surpass that goal, I think they're close to 600,000 now. But basically, 
I, I don't know exactly how many million, but I want to say maybe three. Wow. And um, it's, I mean, it doesn't happen overnight, of course, but, wow. but you can see, well, hopefully you can see today some of the progress that they're making, but uh, a lot of infrastructure, new pumps, cattail eradication. I mean, it's, it's a process and I'm excited about it. Yep. Three million dollars. I, I remember telling you guys on opening weekend there that uh, I thought it, I thought Mike had told me like one million dollar investment, and you're talking like you said, cattail eradication, planting a ton of millet, a ton of smart weed. I, what all did they millet, smart weed? What well, else did they plant? They, they did millet, and and were you able to control the water levels? Yeah. You you get. Um, wet moisture plants like smart wheat with weed that come up voluntarily. Oh, gotcha. So that, that's been the whole key about getting new pumps and infrastructure in, in there so you can control the water. Yeah, once you can money. control the water, exactly. you can. So $3 million is what's been invested just this season trying to get the bottoms back. Give her some throttle, Larry. Get us in there. Oh, we found our spot. We're gonna be stuffing the boat up in these cattails. These are some blonde cattails. It all did blind, blind down pretty good. Yeah. I think you're gonna thin up the farther you keep going, Larry. Yeah, just a second. We can move you around by yeah, hand, too. To well, this is the spot. We got open water in front, as you can tell. I think it was right in here someplace. This is it? I, I oh. had, I had uh, my cattails in front of me. Gotcha. Well, let's just send it right here. Well, they're shooting like the first shots have cracked yeah. off. We just seen, uh, yep, yeah, we just seen the first two birds. And then stop. Oh, behind us, behind us, boys, coming from the back. Good group coming right here. Over the top, over the top. Sit, sit down right here. Shoot them. Okay, we got one down. Fred, was that Fred? You little mother. <laughs> well, he broke out of the boat. Fred! Here! Where's that jacket right over there, isn't it? Here! No, it's straight it's out. He's straight seen out it go down. Side. I ain't letting him get it. Come on, buddy. Find it. Find it. Dead bird! Good! Here! Good boy! Let's go! Come on, buddy. That's a good dog. Everybody smash that thumbs up for Fred. He broke, I didn't let him go. Drop, my bird. I didn't let him go, I called him back to the boat. It's not a good dog when he breaks. I didn't let him go. I made him sit for a minute and then I casted him and I had to come help him. So, I didn't expect him to break out of the boat. Uh, Should have brought the leash. But there we go. First bird down on the board. Come on, dude. Let's go in the boat. All right. Oh, hi, Jack. There's that one. I don't think that was mine. I think it's, is that yours, Mike? That's mine. Okay. Here, Fred. Well, we can keep Fred from breaking. I won't be getting mad. Come on, Fred, here. When the first shot went out, he was already out to the edge. Jeez. Sit. <laughs> Look, he knows. Yeah. He knows. He's like, Dad, I know I'm in trouble. I'm sorry, Dad. I get it. But look, I, I had to rig some... Oh, see? Nope. Just lay down. Nope. Lay down. I had to cord him off here. Nope. You lay right there. It's for your own good. Yeah, exactly. He ain't moving now. Um, that was ridiculous. He was out of the boat before we were even done shooting. He was going after the bird, but I didn't let him go. I uh, just bought a quick release uh, system for, for Frederick and I forgot to bring it. I didn't think I was going to need it in a boat. Obviously with Fred, he needs to be chained down for his own good. You thought wrong. I thought wrong. That's exactly right. Dude, I'm going to have to learn, man. It's hard to be mean to him. You know, look at that face. Be nice. You're a good boy. He just, he just wants some ducks. You know, that's all he wants. He just wants some ducks. Like all of us. Yep. Ducks. Drone man. 
Well, you want a snack? I don't have any pretzels today. But I do have cracker. You want one? You better eat it, dude. No, don't you waste it. Here. Not liking it? Just not your gig today, or what? Fred is the pickiest dog. Here. Here. <laughs> mm, decided to eat it, huh, bud? After sitting there and licking it forever, decided to eat it. Good boy. Well, everybody else's shooting's really calmed down a lot. We've shot once, one duck down in the boat. Check this out though. All those Oregon fires, all those West Coast fires, check out the sun. The last two days, we've had this haze. Hey, comrades. This haze in the sky makes the sun look pretty crazy. Lots of smoke in the, in the sky. But this is the situation today. We actually have our backs to the east, which is really nice not looking into the sun. Only got out, what, two dozen decoys? Well, yeah, almost two dozen. One mojo. And here we are, old old Jack over there. Look at him, he's in his spot. Like, don't First bother me. Something. Yeah, he's ready to get after it, but I don't know if we're gonna really get after it that much. Not looking too good right now. <laughs> 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 this guy on this boat just came out of the cattails over here peaked saw us he's a like, guy oh, i better turn around and he is just giving our throttle that is shallow oh he's moving now <laughs> later buddy maybe is it a big duck i think it might be it's hard to tell i can't see so far away uh, probably a big duck Big difference from five days ago. Five days ago, it was a war zone. Five days ago, I probably seen well over a thousand teal. Well over. I think I've saw a total of ten so far, maybe. It's crazy what all can change in a matter of five days. Come on, single. Yeah, he's still buzzing. Nope. He gone. Boy, howdy. Someone just cracked open right behind us. That one. <laughs> that, that was the single. He's dead uh, now. <laughs> he's dead now. See him no longer. Someone just cracked off behind us. And boy, howdy. Those, those had to have been 10 gauges. They were loud. That was loud. I don't see them though, but it sounded like they were awfully close. Yeah, it was real close. Scared the you know what out of me. Public land hunting. <laughs> shooting three and a half inch 10 gauge. I, Exactly. Yeah, it had to teal. either be a it had to either been a ten gauge or a three and a half inch shell because yeah. boy howdy. Yeah. It's gonna be the left side. Oh, come back, dude. Come back. Oh, that's our first duck we've had even come close in a while, boys. Yeah, it got me all excited. <laughs> well, maybe that's a good sign. Yeah, I like it. You know, we haven't had any okay, good signs yet. Positivity, right now. Positivity. <laughs> There'll be birds everywhere. Yeah, that's why I came. Mike was like, Larry said, guaranteed when we come that we're going to have a limit by 8.30. Yeah. He, well, he originally said 8, but the thing is, now oh, probably 8.30. He, knew, he knows how I shoot. Yesterday, if I could have hit him by 8 o'clock, 8.30, I would have had a limit. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, if I could Just yesterday, there was that many more birds? Oh, yeah, they were just... Yeah. See, here we go with the story. Oh, yeah, oh God. They, Bob, let me tell you what. They're just, we had Jack going everywhere. He, he just couldn't even see straight. <laughs> God, these guys behind us. What are you shooting at, man? We haven't seen anything in days out here. I think they're just chasing that around. I don't know what they're doing. They're either, shoot, they're either shooting at barn swallows. That's all I'm seeing over there. <laughs> <laughs> what are these small teal? They're not blue or green wing. What are these? <laughs> hmm. uh, nice shooting, boys. One down over there. Sit, Bam. Fred. Bam. Yeah. I'm One down. down the re re He's over there. Oh, I shot way too late. They might circle back around here. <laughs> They did, they did that to us a bunch. Seriously. Really? Yeah. Well, there we go. 
That's what I wanted. There's my volley. They came out of nowhere. Yeah. I definitely didn't shoot that bird, I don't think. Look. I know. I'm I telling you, they might idea. come. They said, hey, we had some buddies land over here. Let's go back and check out what happened. Boy, that's a first shot in a while. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah, I did. Well, my old rig for Fred here worked. He didn't. He didn't break. Good boy, set. Good, good boy, set. Go. There we go. Look at that group. That's a group of ten. Well, here we go, boys. Hopefully, it fires up. Hopefully, we can have a little bit of luck here. There we go. We have a smash of thumbs up first of all come on let's get this video over 3,000 likes and second of all i told y'all we're gonna do some public land jumping around all week here while till season's open here in kansas it's only open for just a little bit y'all uh get out there as much as you can enjoy it while it's here um uh, i'm just ready for the cool weather well we're out of here we got the decoy spread picked up that's a nice little spot yeah not bad at all. Worked out well, good concealment. Could have been way more birds, but uh... <laughs> we, we had an A for presentation. <laughs> we got an A for presentation. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Hey, three ducks, now, not too bad. My gun still shoots. Uh, yeah, your gun still shoots for sure. Um, I might have shot one today. I was gonna uh, ask you guys though. I put it on my Instagram and I told y'all, here Fred, here, heal. I told y'all that I want another duck boat. And I want one of my own so I can keep forever and do whatever I want to it. Since I gave the last one away last year, I'm missing it a bunch. If you know of a boat for sale, okay, if you have one for sale, first off, if you have a nice one for sale, I'm wanting to spend about five to seven thousand bucks, something ready to go, there's something that has a boat blind already on it. Uh, if you know of something, drop a comment down below. Uh, the easiest thing to do is if you if you have one that you know I'd like. Put your email address down there so I can contact you and uh, we can go from there. But I'm really looking for a duck boat. I need one like now. I miss it. I miss it. Hi, Fred. Beautiful out here. How can't you love this? Old Frederick, man, he loves a boat. Don't you, bud? Just two buddies. <laughs> oh man. I'm glad the season's back, y'all. That's a 14 footer. I'll tell you what, for a 14 foot boat, it's perfect for three guys. I remember when <laughs> we were talking about it earlier when we brought Flare and we ran four guys in there. Yeah. <laughs> we about sunk it. About sunk the OSS minute. Yeah. Right? Oh, I remember that. We brought I brought Flair out here one time. The only time he's ever been out here, actually. Here, come here, Jack. Watch out. And uh, we we, we brought we, we brought sunk her. Decoys, yeah, we brought good, <laughs> tons. It, it was it was goose was open. Big duck was yeah. open. Yeah. So yeah, we had goose floaters, duck floaters. Probably had four mojos and all four here, guys. Gear, one gear. dog. All yeah, all my camera gear, Flair's camera gear, and that little boat. She was a hurting unit. But even even a 14 footer, a nice one like that, I'd really like a 16 or 18 footer to be to be honest. Fred, get out of there. Here, Fred, here, right here, come on. I know you've met a buddy. Come here, sit down, you're gonna get in trouble. Sit. Here's the situation though, I miss my boat so much. I'm serious guys, if you guys have a boat for sale, let your boy know. Drop a comment down below and uh, let me know because I am in, we call it in the money. I'm in the business. 
to buy a boat. I need one now. What's wrong, dude? You got a splinter? Come here, Fred. Come here, Fred. Oh, 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 poor, poor guy. First of all, that's not your ball. No, drop. That's Jackson's ball. Sit now, Frederick, here. Monsieur Paul, you got a sticker? Oh, you got a lot of stickers, bud. You better? Come on. Well, as you can see, we're home and it's the next day. Kind of dropped the vlog after the hunt for good reason. I like to do that. I like to come home and I like to recap the hunt well after the fact. You know, after uh, you know a day or two even. It's really good to do that. It's good to reflect. And for good reason. Because, like, uh, just like when we started this video, I was so excited to be going on a hunt with Mike and Larry again. A boat hunt at the bottoms. It's always a good time. Now, I don't think if, obviously, if we would have shot a ton of ducks, it, we would have had more fun, I, I feel. But even only shooting, what do we shoot, three? We had a blast. And that's what it's all about. That is what duck hunting should be about. Goose hunting, that's what it should be about. Now, goose hunting, it can be, you know, when you go out there and you sit a thousand plus decoys, it really does hurt the soul when you only walk, walk away with one or zero. But duck hunting, it's easy enough, you know, that's what it should be about right there. And that's what I knew this hunt was going to be when we opened the video this morning. You know what I mean? So, a little recap. Um, we went on a weekday, which I always try to go to the bottoms on a weekday. So, it's just not crowded and the birds have a little time to calm down and readjust, you know. We heard quite a bit of shooting, but um, we did not see very many birds. Again, the amount of birds we've seen, probably half of them came and checked us out. We just, we did not see a lot of birds. Um, it seemed like the guys behind us, probably, well, probably three, 300 yards, uh, they were shooting more than us, and it was only that far away. So, uh, the bottoms, it's all about where you're at. You really have to put in the scout time to find what holes are good when. You got to find the ducks. So, we always just send it. We always just go out there and, and just go and, and have a good time. But I appreciate y'all being here. Today is actually my birthday. So I'm going to try to rip this edit up here and uh, get it ready for tomorrow for you guys. But then I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day and uh, spend time with family and have a bunch of fun. But if you haven't subscribed, do so. I just checked and it's like 44%, I believe. Yeah, that is the amount of y'all that are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. If you're a waterfowl hunter, you're going to want to be here. Um, I'm always trying to give my tips, my two cents, and uh, just spreading what knowledge I may have. So, Fred and I, we're going to go hang out with the family, and y'all have a great day. And um, just, if anything, on my videos, one thing I want people to realize is I've went through it all, man, with waterfowl hunting. And I'm not trying to sound like I know everything, but when I started the video, it was all about big piles, big piles. I had to have big piles to get you guys to watch it. And that's what I'm trying to, um, I guess, get away from. Not permanently. We're still going to always have big piles here and there. But even the bad hunts, the bad hunts, we're going to make them good. We're going to have fun. And that's what I want y'all, I, I encourage y'all to do. You should never be leaving the field discouraged and disgruntled. Man, life sucks. You just got done hunting. Hey, uh, hunting could be illegal one day. Hey. Hunting may not exist one day. Hey, it may be illegal to hunt and own a firearm one day. I'm just saying, get out there and enjoy it. Doesn't matter, man. Get out. If you're not having fun in the outdoors, you shouldn't be out there. But until next time. Ready. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real